So I meant to upload this local player video before the anti-knockback one, uh, anti-KB. So that way uh, people who are new to all this kind of know what I'm talking about when I refer to local player. But totally forgot to. Um, so, yeah, here it is. Let's get right into it. Alright, so this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to find local player. So you're going to go in game, you're going to search for this value, 16777473, 4 bytes, make sure this is gray check, bloop, and then just do first scan, and you're going to want to set up hotkeys uh, for next scan decreased value, down arrow, click OK. So you're going to jump, scan for a decreased value, zero, you're going to get two addresses. And then freeze this one, check if you can double jump, you can't, delete it, freeze that one. Alright, we can double jump. We have air jump, so we know it's this one. So we're going to click find out, right click it, and click find out what access is it. Click stop, just going to get the highest counting one right here. And right there, that's a local player. Right click this, copy easy guest to clipboard, click OK, click close, add address manually, boom, control V, click OK. As you can see, this, uh, once you have it, so let's just delete that now, we don't need that. Once you have this added, as you can see, I have it already right there. Uh, you're going to want to right click it, click uh, pointer scan for this address, do 5, click OK. and It'll scan through a bunch of pointer chains. Uh, you can just double click it to add it to your address list and it'll pop up with something like this. So this points to that. So that's local player and we have a static pointer chain to it now. Bloop. All right, so I won't go over too much of what's inside local player in this video. This is mostly just for finding local player, but I will show you guys some basics. Um, so once you have your local player pointer, uh, you can control B, uh, highlight it and click control B. It'll bring up this bottom half of the, uh, memory viewer right there. As you can see, it goes to the address that it's pointing at, C150, C150. So just kind of click there and then hold control and press D as in dog. <coughs> and this will bring up the, uh, structure dissect. Um, and then it already has the address that we need right there, so that's the local player address. So go ahead and click structures, define new structure, name it local player. And I like giving 24, uh, 24 megabytes to it. Um, or sorry, I think that's kilobytes. No, it's megabytes, just kidding. So I like assigning uh, 24 uh, megabytes to it for the size. <coughs> so I'll click OK. And so any in any other video that I make, whenever I refer to local player, I'm going to be referring to this, this local player structure. Um, and I do plan on making some other videos that are going to involve this. So how you would find things is just kind of like looking through it and messing around in game at the same time. Like see just from moving the camera or my head, you can see there's already some things changing. That is my player's head, uh, pitch and yaw. Um, I get pitch and yaw mixed up, but one of them's for vertical, one of them's for horizontal. Uh, so how you can check that is just go 90 degrees up. So these two. These two are the uh, vertical and 90 degrees down. Now they're positive 89 instead of negative 89, so negative 89, positive 89. So I believe that's yaw that's vertical. So you would just hold control, press enter, you can name it LP for local player, ya1, and then control enter, LP ya2, and then this would be pitch, the other one, the other two are uh, pitch1 and LP pitch2. <coughs> so yeah, so you can kind of look through the data structure and see what's what. Um, I'll kind of leave the rest of a lot of it up to you guys to find, but I will show you some essential sections, Minecraft player, 
So you're going to scroll down past Minecraft player until you see a section that looks kind of like... Is it this? Yeah. So once you see this 1.7999, yada yada, uh, <clears throat> scroll up a little bit, and right under this, these two pointers, this is where the uh, x, y, z coordinates start. So this is x, y, and z1, and then that's that's not supposed to be bytes. Why, why are those bytes? Let's get rid of those. I don't want any bytes. And this is going to be uh, your hitbox width and height. So this is your height. So LP look player hitbox height. And this one is a little bit offset. It's just going to be this minus four, and and it's not going to be a double. It's going to be a float just like this one. So let's change that to a float first of all. Click OK. So it shows zero. We want it to look like zero point six. 60. Um, so, so the offset is slightly off. Um, so we want to change that from 4B8 to, I believe, 4BC. Yeah, there we go. So now it's 0 0.60, so now you can name it local player hitbox width. Bloop. And then here you have X, Y, and it's for some reason it's fucked up a little bit again. I don't know why. But this is Usually the um, XYZ coordinates, or XYZ anything, is going to be four bytes um, within four bytes of each other. Just a single D word. Uh, so, as you can see, 40, 0 is X, and then plus four bytes, 44 is offset Y, is the offset for um, the Y, and then plus four more bytes is the off offset for Z. So, yeah, so that's how you are able to kind of tell with XYZ anything. Um, let's delete that. So, these things here, we don't want bytes here, fuck those. So this one right here, this negative zero point yada yada. First things first, actually, let's click in, let's click for, select this 48 right here again, and then hit insert, and it'll change it to 40C. So this one is also going to be a float. There we go, so we have 4DC, and then we have 4E0, which is 4 bytes ahead of that one. And then let's click Insert on this again, and we have 4E4. So 40C, 4E0, and 4E4. So that is, whoops, local player X velocity, and local player Y velocity. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And local player Z velocity. So yeah. There's a big section right here. Shows all your XYZ coordinates, your hitbox width, height, uh, some more X XYZ coordinates, and then your local player velocities. <coughs> which in the uh, anti-knockback video, this is what I'm messing with right here. So again, if you just press 1, you can see that that's your Y velocity. It sends you flying into the air. Uh, so yeah, that's all I'll go over for um, local player.